It's Hip Hop Nation. Your boy Torre is in the building. It's a motherfucking family affair today. Now I mean? It's a family reunion today. I got the super fly god yes. in the building. What side gun? What up, my guy? <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't we be here. right. It wouldn't be right <laughs> if we start like that. Nah, we here, man. We here, my brother. You already know. We Yo, working. We working. Super working. Um, man, I don't even know where to start the conversation with you because there's so much shit to talk about. Obviously, the new project and then you pray for me is out there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I haven't spoken to you. I haven't spoken to you really since the pandemic and I haven't mm -hmm. seen you in a minute even before that. Exactly. So let me just say congratulations on everything, King. Oh, like, thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You too, man. <laughs> you acting bad, we, baby. We, we, we working. <laughs> I mean, when you look at when you look at the success of everything that's come to fruition, I'm not going to ask you if you're surprised or, or or is it taking you aback because you're so calculated in your plan and you already saw this. You're still 10 years ahead of, you know what I mean? Whatever yeah. we see in Manifest now, I already know you got the next shit mapped out. Yeah. But tell me how it feels to see it all come to fruition. Everything you said. I mean, it's 2026 in my mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm futuristic shit. Yeah, right now. You know what I'm saying? The, my jacket futuristic. That's you know crazy. What I'm saying? That's Jeff? Of course. It's amazing. Great leather craftsman that's a, shit. That's from the under the cow stomach. Yeah, this, yeah this, right? This, yeah, that's the good good shit. Yeah, man, for sure. You know, this, you know, I, um, like you said, we don't want to sound corny and just be like, we, you know, I knew it was going to be this, but. I really did, you know what I'm saying? I actually thought it was going to be lit sooner. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? I actually thought it took too long. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, but, you know, we, we, we know why things take a little longer, and it's all about timing. Um, You know, I felt like when Pray for Paris came out the first, you know, part one, I mean, you know, if it wasn't for the pandemic, I would have been out of here right after that moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really didn't get you know, my time to shine and really push it and really network and be on the scene with it and push it. And, you know, because that's when COVID was fresh. Yeah, yeah. Like that's when for you, real, for real. That's when you, they didn't even have a test for you. <laughs> Niggas, you <laughs> nigga didn't even know if he had it or not. You was <laughs> like, I feel all right, but I feel <laughs> fucked up too. Yeah, yeah. So, but just imagine if I didn't have to go through all of that. Right. That's just when it was really like the time to push. And, you know, I was, I was, you know, side by side with Virgil then. So it's, it's, it was a difference. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm, I think I missed opportunity on, you know, so much more because, you know, other albums that I was dropping at that time, even though they didn't, uh, you know, we couldn't really be out in the world, they had the machine behind them. Right. So they can push still right, through right, different right. channels. Sure. They had that. And, and me, on the other hand, I didn't have that engine. You know what I mean? Because Pray for Paris should have definitely at least been nominated for a Grammy for sure. It's like people say it's one of the top albums in the last decade. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, and it, it didn't get its just due. And I think it's one of them projects where, like, people knew I was slighted. You know what I'm saying? And even go back looking to it now, like, yeah, bro was slighted. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was a lot of work put in that because that, um, that was the motivation. Ever since then... You know, these right. last three years have been incredible. Right. So even coming off the hills of that and losing Virgil and, and losing that time that you really wanted to have to run around with that, how do you turn that energy into what we have right now for And Then You Pray For Me? Um, And see, that's the thing. Since I didn't get a chance to do it last time, I'm super doing it now. That's why I'm on the scene. You right. know what I'm saying? Um, Because, you know, it's... it's it's so much more to me than just rapping, you know what I'm saying? So you you still have the 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 art and the design behind it and and the fashion behind it and it's so much more that, you know, um just comes with just it being an album. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, I could sit here and talk to you and that's on the hip hop side. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. But then let's let's you know, I, I could talk to somebody now on the, the fashion side of sure. it. I could talk to somebody now on the art side of it. Sure. And, you know what I'm saying? Um, so that's why I think, like, albums like this is special. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's it's uh, it's just reaching so many more people, man, and, and, and getting people to understand who West Side Gun is a little sure. more sure. than just dropping, like, me just rapping on, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Making some shit today, dropping next Friday, and it's, huh, here you go. You know, that only can get you but so far. You know what I'm saying? 
and um this year it was just like yo the energy is is, is back you know what i'm saying sure and, you know we here because you have your self in so many different worlds and you excel in, in all of these different worlds. Like, people respect you in the fashion world. Obviously, your time in Paris and Fashion Week, people respect you in the art world, in the curation, and obviously in music between the Griselda audience and just the worldwide hip-hop space. Mm. You're so, so respected. How do you see yourself? As the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I honestly do, because um, it's only one West Side Gun ever. You know what I'm saying? Like I like I always say, I could do some of the rawest, dustiest shit you ever heard in your life right now with ST Knack to some shit. Like, you don't even understand. It's so grimy, you don't even understand it. All the way to being on Utopia. You know what I'm saying? Back to back. You Crazy. know what I mean? I was on the Babyface Ray album, and, you know, Travis dropped it a week after that. But Crazy. then the week after that, Mugs dropped and I'm on there with Ghost. You know what I'm saying? And, so none of like, it, and none of it feels like a reach or a stretch or you never feel out of place, no matter, because you exist in so many worlds. Nah, because all I rap about is fly drug dealing shit, so it don't matter if it's, <laughs> it, don't matter. it don't matter who album is right. on, you're going to get fly <laughs> drug call, dealing shit. You, you know what I'm saying? The super fly God is here if you not know it, and then you pray for me is out there right now. Hip Hop Nation, your boy Torre is in the building. Um, Talk to me about the creation of this project, um, why you felt like now was the time to drop it, and all of the, you know, you already mentioned Travis and Muggs, and you got Ye, and just all of these different um, artists that come around that gravitate towards you doing in line with you. Why was it a perfect time for you to drop right now? Um, Well, actually, I wish I could have dropped sooner. Uh, my engineer was in Africa, you know okay. what I'm saying? So, like, once it started getting to that process, it was it was kind of weird for the first time in my career. I had to kind of, like, mix yeah. and master and go back and forth and shit. You know, I'm I'm different places, and he, and he in Africa. So it was, you know, when people was, like, when the album go, like, when I, I had the first intentions of, like, I'm dropping it, uh, you know, the Friday during June, you know, Paris Fashion mm, Week. Mm -hmm. That 22nd, that I think it crazy. was. So it was supposed to came out that Friday during Fashion Week. I was going to go with the whole shit. But um, like I said, it, it just wasn't right and ready yet, and I didn't want to rush it. Then I was going to drop it on my birthday. And then it just did You know what I mean? It was just like different things. It just didn't work out. Good thing about me not doing it in June, I probably made like five, six more songs, more songs okay. that I put on there, like Kitchen Lights, is my favorite, you know, one That's of my crazy. favorite joints. It wouldn't have existed if I dropped it in June. That's you see tough, what I'm saying? That's so tough. That's a tough everything one. happens for a reason. And, you know, we don't we don't never care if somebody else coming out on the same day. We don't do it for that. Right. We don't we don't do it for the sales. I don't want to be like, man, my shit only sold ten thousand copies and this nigga went gold. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm still the GOAT. That's right. the thing. It don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You you see the coat. <laughs> and because you own your own shit and because you run your own shit it's a whole different just level of understanding of what it takes to put into a project but also the the back end the return on that investment mm -hmm. um real quick shifting gears we, we spoke a little bit about griselda so who is griselda right now i mean it's a lot of us because that's the thing it's just like you know we a family it's me it's conway it's Benny, it's Armani, it's Rome, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Stove God, it's Bodie James, it's Jay Worthy, it's YM Billy, you know what I'm saying? It's Derringer, it's Camouflage Monk, it's Denny LaFlair, you know what I'm saying? It's Conductor, it's everybody, you know what I'm saying? So the family is the yeah, same family shit, that we've even, been even, 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 even my commie still Griselda, because... Okay. Once you Griselda, you Griselda. That's it for for life. I mean, you already know, you know what I'm saying. So, you know that's the, that's that's why, you know, if next year if we wanted to come with Pray for Haiti Part Two, we could if we want to. You know what I'm saying. It's 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 all of this shit is love. It's family. I don't I don't I'm I'm a person that's um all about pushing the art and the culture forward. I'm not one of those. Uh, I gotta rip the, the 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 pocket off your jeans. I'm I'm not one of them type of guys, you know. what I'm saying we break bread as a family, and everybody got their own things going on, and I respect that. Like Nat got a crew, you know. Bro got drum work, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, Benny got yeah, BSF, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All of that, that's all good, you know what I'm saying? Because they bosses in their own right. I respect that. I love that. That's what they supposed to do, you know what I'm saying? But Griselda's a family, you know what I'm saying? And who I am to the family, we know who who you know who that is and you know no don't nobody um everybody know the vision. Everybody see the vision. You know what I'm saying? Again, sometimes people just want to go on their own because you know how it be. Like, right, nah, right. like I'm, a I'm a, yeah, I'm a boss up. I'm I'm ill with it too. I might want to curate something too, and that's all good. But you know, we still gonna always come back together and and make music, and that's why every time you hear my album, you hear all those names right. because this is what we do. I feel like sometimes people get surprised when crews stay together, even as they go off and do their own things, you know, like to see the track list and see everybody that's on the project. I feel like some people were surprised by that because they thought it was more separation or they thought, you know what I'm saying? It was mm -hmm. a little dissension or division in the team. Yeah. But that's cause again, everybody still is bosses in their own right and they got their shit going on. So it's just like, Oh, let me, let me go over here real quick so I can, like you said, boss up and, and put my homies on. You right. know what I mean? Like, my homies ain't your responsibility. So let me go put my homies on and we still just pushing more culture. Mm -hmm. It's still coming from all of it, this shit. It still come from the Griselda vein. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? It don't It all comes from the Griselda vein. How, how don't it? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it, 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 it's not like none of us got no beef with each other. It's like... None of that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's not one person in the entire, everybody I named that got beef or smoke or feel some type of way about somebody else. None of that shit. It's all love, no egos, everybody just having fun right now. It's just, you know, it's just different chapters in life, you know what I'm saying? So 24 going to be the chapter where shit, we back together. Uh -oh. like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like, uh -oh. you see what I'm saying? So, oh, yo, you thought we was over. Okay, right, huh? Right. You know what I mean? All like, right. yeah. No doubt. What's our gun is here and then you pray for me is out there right now. You know, I think sometimes the more successful you get, the people that championed you at one point, at some point they turn that corner. It's like mm -hmm. we love you up until the masses recognize you. We mm -hmm. love you up until your wrist is that crazy. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. love you up until you got the goat leather on, right? Like, do you feel like you got to a place where you had so much support from the fan base and they built you up? just to start to turn. I just talked about that right before I got here. Word. Literally. You know what I'm saying? I swear, that was the conversation before we pulled up here. Because, again, people watch Mayweather not to win. They trying to see if he going to lose. Mm, <laughs> this nigga spitting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We don't. We already know Mayweather the best if he going to win. Right. We why we paying that hundred dollars to see if this other nigga gonna knock him out that we just heard the story about for a month right, and we right. seeing them train yeah and we they, they, they sold it up yeah you know I mean? yeah I mean? <laughs> we trying to see if that's gonna happen mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying so you know that's the same thing with West Side Gun like like I like I said it in the in the Dunhill record like niggas praying for my downfall mm -hmm. like I gave y'all ten years of some of the Raw's you know, I'm the one like I'm the hip hop Guy, I waved the flag higher, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and even taking it, I'm the guy who actually is forcing the underground sound to the mainstream, like, with force. It's, you should never hate on that, because obviously you just don't see the vision of what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? So instead of just, you know what I'm saying, being like, okay, maybe I don't understand, y'all rather just hate, right. you know what I mean? And that's just the world we live in, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we thrive off the negativity. You know what I'm saying? So when when I wore the Celine boots, oh man, look at him. The pretty, da, 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 he changed. He Hollywood. Wore the gold yard bag. Oh, he gay. He dressed like a woman. He he got on a purse. It's like, y'all only want to push that. You see what I'm saying? The negativity. And that's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm protected by God. That shit don't bother me. You know what I'm saying? This shit is this the illest shit you ever seen in your life. I know who I am. I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like the shit I do. Like you, 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 you talk shit about me, but do you take care of your kids? <laughs> do you take care of your kids? We don't gotta say nothing else. Turn the music <laughs> on. We, do you take care of your kids? Your son sneakers is leaning. Man, Why your son sneakers is leaning? What's man, going on? Tower here? of Pisa, man. <laughs> oh, let me let me ask you this, Westside. 
there's been some talk about <laughs> you saying that this is going to be your last studio album yeah. type of body of work. Can yeah. you just break that down for the people that think it means you retire it and you're done? Yeah, nah, it's none of that. It's just the fact that I don't want to go in the studio and feel like I got to make 15 to 20 records no more and give everybody that long played and just, you know, do all of this every time. Like, I'm I'm, I'm going back to the West Side Gun Griselda when I make a song a day and drop it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Get a, get a crazy picture, smack the parental on it. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Drop there. that shit next day. Like the, back to the SoundCloud day ways of the grind West Side Gun, the grind Griselda. Because why everybody else about to be sitting on their hands taking vacations because they think they drop is when I'm about to attack even more. So the thing about it, with, even with an album like this, I experiment and I have fun because I made it in Europe. You know what I'm saying? My life was different. I was in a different vibe. Mm-hmm. I was going to fashion weeks. I was eating five star restaurants. I was staying at five star hotels. You know what I'm saying? We was flying on, you know what I mean? Planes every 48 hours, country hopping, going to Egypt, going to Dubai, going to Greece, going to Germany, going, going to Denmark, crazy. going to London, going, to, you see what I'm saying? Right. This is real life activity. So, I'm do I got I got my kids on camel so I don't look at the haters. Word. What are they doing with their life? Word. Obviously nothing cuz anybody that's going to sit there actually pick up the phone, unlock it, <laughs> go to the app, go to a picture, look at it, hit comment, type some fuckery, hit send, you got to be a fuck nigga. <laughs> yeah, who has that kind of time? <laughs> Who got that kind of time to be so invested in somebody else's shit? Um, Who does that? Shifting gears from the hate, the love is there, mm-hmm. and not tenfold, twentyfold, a hundredfold. Oh yeah, the love is is there for sure. I'm so proud to have watched this story unfold, um, and I think that there's a story to be told. Like this has to be a documentary, or uh, mm-hmm. some type of extended. Um, just telling of this story and how these Buffalo kids made it to the top of the food chain mm-hmm. and hip hop. But talk to me about some of these incredible relationships you have. We see you with M. We see you with Ho. We see you with Yay. We see you with you know rest up to the great Virgil. Um, so many of these instrumental and influential people in the building. What are some of the things that you've learned from being in these environments? Um, I mean, not to sound crazy. I learned how ill I am. Mm. That's that's a real that's a real <laughs> answer. No, that, that that's yeah. not like you, you heard the names that you just named. They don't get no bigger. You see what I'm saying? And these is guys that's my friends. You know what I'm saying? My family. I could call them, ask them for anything. You know what I'm saying? And it's done. You know what I'm saying? So that that's how you have Virgil on the cover. Right. Like you know what I'm Crazy. saying? Um, you know, uh. This the Steven Johnny record that's on uh the album, you know what I'm saying? That idea came from Hove. Mm. He was like, yo, you should you should because that's the thing. He called he called me and him that. You mm. know what I'm saying? And I got him, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna tell you to drink, but I got him two bottles of it and one of them said Steve. One you know what I'm saying? Yeah, one said Johnny. So that's how the bottles came, you know what I'm saying? Crazy. All that had it, yeah, as a gift. And um you know, we was just talking about this album and shit, and he was like, "Yo, man, you should name you should name one of them songs that." And that's how you got it. You know what All I'm right. saying? Thank you, Hove. Yeah, thank you, Hove. That's what I'm saying. These is these is real, um, friends and family, man. I you know what it. I'm saying? And and you know, for me to be in this position, that's why I say, man, I I don't even um look at the hate, man, because the hate is just really just showing how much I'm winning. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Because I wouldn't be in these rooms, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm from Eastside Buffalo. I worked hard. Anybody from the hood, anybody from the struggle, anybody that ever been locked up before, anybody that come from a smaller city that ain't had no resources, didn't have nobody to look out for you, didn't have art programs, didn't have all of this shit because it's, it's one of the big you know, we was the second largest poor city behind Detroit, like, my whole life, like, just grimy shit, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not young, so I done been through everything since the crack era, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, so to make it from Buffalo and, and have all those odds against you, and now I'm sitting here, can have a Virgil cover and can get, you know what I mean, built with Hove on an album and shit like that, like, 
how you can't respect that? Like, what is we talking about? You see what I'm saying? Like, and um, you know, the thing about it is like what 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 this type of album is. I'm giving something for everybody. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't like ten of the seven, you know, ten of the twenty one songs, that's okay. Those those isn't for you. Right. That's for this other crowd that loves those ten that actually hate those eleven records right. that you love. You still got that eleven. You still got <laughs> your album. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so it's like, who am I gonna listen to? I'm not gonna listen to absolutely anybody. I'm just gonna be myself and give you my plate. And if you decide to eat with me, you decide to eat with me. If you say fuck my plate, Starve then. <laughs> <laughs> and then you pray for me is out there right now. What side gun is here? We're gonna get back to some music. One more question. Um, we've been in this game, like you said, we we some OGs basically coming from that crack era and, and we've seen a lot of shit. We've lost a lot of people along the way. Uh how hard was it for you when you get the ner- the news about Virgil? Um, crazy. Cause you know, I text him, he didn't text back. And, and he don't he never did that before and and it, it was a little while after when I did finally hear that he passed, but that's why he didn't respond. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, cause he, he was going through what he was going through, and I didn't know it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so it just came out of nowhere because this is somebody who I I really built with. Like I said, when I'm making songs, I send it to him and. You know, we had so many different ideas and things I was going to do and we was going to do together. And, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, that was that was like a, you know what I'm saying? A, a brother in this shit, a, a, a good a good guy, man. You know what I'm saying? I think he's um he was too ahead of his time, but he also seen that in me. You see what I'm saying? That's why, you know, Pray for Paris is so special because at least like that one was like us together. Like he was there all the every step of the way even how the album even got started having me come to paris in the first place was because of virgil you see what i'm saying but wasn't right. for virgil having me come to paris it would be no such thing as pray for paris <laughs> and then you pray for me right you know what i'm saying it wouldn't be no such thing as cartier a williams tap dancing on the album you know That's what I'm so saying? crazy it wouldn't be that because Vir- that was virgil you know what i'm saying cartier a williams was the uh you know um he tap danced at the Off White show, mm-hmm. and you know to my song, you know what I mean, Fashion Week. So it was crazy, and that was a surprise to me because V didn't even tell me he was gonna do that. So when I went out there, I'm sitting, there, I'm sitting next to Takeoff and Pop Smoke. Rest in peace to both of them. Wow. So it's crazy how, like we saying, 2020 was you know the even like the last year we really kicked it. You know what I'm saying? For I think it was probably the you know promo for mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But since then, we lost all three of them. That's crazy. You know what I mean? So that's, that, that's why it's like so much shit is so special. This shit go over so many people's heads mm-hmm. that they don't even understand and get it. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. So, you know. And we got to enjoy life while we here. You know what I mean? Sure. The private jets, the leathers, the bracelets, all of it. You know what I mean? <laughs> the five-star hotels. Yeah, the leather sun. My, my sunglasses is the leather sunglasses. right now. G-Ron right, G, man. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you get into it, man. And then you pray for me is out there right now. The Buffalo kids have made it to the top of the building. West Side Gun. You know it's always love, King. My no, brother. I love my brother, man. You already know. Long live Virgil. Long live Michelle, man.